simple tools you need for this stub axle removal is a Dremel that I talked about a second ago. That's what I used to cut off the flat spots in those nuts. I have a 27 millimeter socket with a breaker bar. Got my portable impact gun, slide hammer, and a few safety items. As I get older, safety seems to be more important to me. I'll take a moment to cover my eyes and ears now and keep this debris out of my ears and eyes. So those are the tools I'll use. The Z I'm working on is right over here. It's a 280 that has drum brakes. I'm converting it to disc. But in order to do that, I've got to get those axles off. So here we go. Okay. So. Once you got the groove in there like that, you can just take a chisel or a screwdriver and bust that out of there. Pretty simple. So that's basically what it looks like once you get it all ground off of there. Now you just put the wheel on the ground socket on it and it'll come right off. All right, so I've got a little penetrating oil on that that's been soaking for a few minutes. And I'm gonna get my breaker bar, my 27 millimeter. Get that on there, I've got the car on the ground. It's gonna require a little bit of force and this is my left hand that I'm not real strong with. So hopefully it doesn't. Oh, yeah, it is. It's trying to roll the car. All right, we don't want that. Let's try this again. All right, so now that I've got that nut end cut off and it's been soaking for, I don't know, five, ten minutes with that penetrating oil, I'm going to try to hit it with my portable impact here and see if that thing will come off. off and then I'll show you how to pull the stub axle out with the slide hammer all right so now for the fun part I've got that axle nut off of the back of this axle now I've got my slide hammer hooked to that axle and it's literally just a matter of a few pulls and that thing will come right out so I'm gonna show you how to do that all right, so here we go. A few more of those and that'll come right out. All right, so I had to replace this broken Chinese slide hammer piece. I went to the auto board store and bought a new one, which is much better made. 20 bucks, but it took me an hour of time to go get it. Anyway, I'm gonna replace that and start hammering on that. Hopefully it'll come out pretty easily. All right, so I got the new slide hammer hooked up. I got the broken piece of the slide hammer, the flange off. So now I'm just gonna give it a few more wax. Well, and there you have it. It did take quite a few more wax on that slide hammer than I anticipated but I finally got it out. The key is to make sure that slide hammer is securely tightened to that axle. Any wobbling will take away about 50% of your pounding as you're pulling it off which after about 20 wax I realized it was just a little loose 
and then I tighten that back up and about two more pulls on it it came right out so there it is now I'll take off those four bolts for that backing plate and then uh, bolt on the rear disc brake conversion I'll clean it all up and powder coat it all first but at least we're making progress finally Thank you.